Hello everyone. Now this video will show you how to read and write the ROM easily from the Seagate hard drive with two mini ROM chips. Now we can see this is a hard drive PCB and this is the hard drive. Uh, it's one desktop hard drive of Seagate. Now let's check the hard drive ID. We can see uh, this is the drive ID, 8TB. So ST8000 uh, and M017B. So EXOS. Okay, now let's check the PCB. And this is the PCB. We can see here uh, two ROM chips, ROM1, ROM2, okay, this is ROM1 and ROM2, two ROM chips, and this is mini ROM chips, so these chips are very small, and we can see it's different from the standard ROM chip size, so if users need to read and write ROM, users need to read both ROM chips and write both ROM chips. Okay. And this is the new adapter. We can easily install on the PCB and read ROM, write ROM directly. No need to solder the mini ROM chips of the PCB. Now let's see. And we need to install the PCB to the hard drive. Okay, install this one. And we need to install the screws. Okay. Install these four screws and then install the adapters like this one. After install, we can see here are some pins. So we just install this adapter to this original PCB and then we connect, connect this USB type C cable to the computer and then we can use one uh, software okay uh, let's go to the computer and we can see this is the software uh, we can use to read the ROM 1 and ROM 2 now let's wait a little bit and then i can install this adapter to the pcb here like this one okay let's wait wait a little bit okay now uh, we have uh, installed the pcb and fix it to the hard drive and here are four screws uh, so that we can install the adapter here okay we can see there are four holes so we can put this hose to the uh, four screws here and this screw is to fix the pcb to the hard drive and like this one Okay, like this, we just need to use these four screws, here are four screws we can fix, yeah we can fix easily, okay, let's fix, let's fix Okay, now uh, we, we have fixed 
this four screws to install this adapter. Okay. To the hard drive. So it's very easy. Now I just need to connect the Type C USB cable to the USB port to the computer, like this one. It's very easy. So we can read the mini ROM chips easily from the hard drive PCB. We don't need to solder anything. We just need to install the adapter to the hard drive PCB. And then we go to the computer, open this DFO ROM Smart. And first we need to uh, click connect the device. Now in the log window, we can see connect the device success. And then we select ROM one because there are two ROM chips. We can see there are two ROM selection available and get ROM information. Now we can see the ROM one ID, ROM size. If we can try again, ROM size. Okay, it's four MB. So we need to use this one and then read ROM, read ROM. So we can select ROM1, click. Now we can see the software starts to read the ROM1. So it's very easy, no need to solder the ROM chips of the PCB. So we can read the ROM directly from the PCB by this adapter. And we can see uh, this adapter uh, there is another design which is very helpful. Uh, this is something like one uh, flash programmer. Users can uh, install one chip socket here. And we can see there are also 1.8 voltage and 3.3 .3 voltage. So this one sports most common ROM chips in the market not only for this PCB, but users need to set ROM chips off to read ROM for other ROM chips. For this PCB number, for this PCB number, uh, users don't need to set uh, ROM chips off and read ROM, write ROM directly. So this one's very easy. Now we go to this computer, we can see uh, the ROM1 is being read. After ROM1 finished, we need to select ROM2 and get ROM information and then read ROM. Also, the ROM size we, we need to check and the software detects the ROM size automatically. So we read ROM and save the ROM, save the ROM1 and save ROM2. So it's the same method to read the ROM too. Thank you for watching the video.